Hi, I want to talk to you about the exploratory laparotomy, the X-LAP. The X-LAP is an incredibly valuable diagnostic tool and it should be used as such. So let's say you have a young dog patient and he's been vomiting for several days now and he's not improving with your medical management and maybe his health is, is declining. You don't have access to advanced imaging diagnostic techniques such as ultrasound or maybe not in a timely enough fashion. What you want to do is use the XLAP as a diagnostic tool. You're using it to go and confirm or go get a diagnosis. That's what your client also needs to understand. We don't know that he has a foreign body. Yes, we suspect it, but we don't know. We're gonna go have a look. What makes the XLAP a very valuable diagnostic tool is that you always come out with an answer. You never come out empty handed. Let me say that again. You never come out of an XLAP ever, ever, ever come out of an XLAP empty handed. You must have something. So let's say you get in there and you don't find a foreign body. There's nothing else significantly abnormal in the abdomen. This is still a very valuable tool because now you're going to go and you're going to take biopsies without exception. Don't even think about it. Just biopsy the following organs, liver, stomach, duodenum, jejunum, ileum. If the lymph nodes, if a lymph node or several lymph nodes are enlarged, biopsy at least one enlarged lymph nodes. By the time you get the histopath results, hopefully you will also have a diagnosis. Remember, IBD, lymphoma, they can look perfectly normal when you get in there. So biopsy everything. If, by the way, you get in the abdomen and you don't find a foreign body, but you find a big ugly tumor that you're not comfortable resecting, clearly you're gonna to wanna to get a biopsy of that as well. All right, so you're not gonna be empty handed. You'll also get more information regarding this tumor, where it's located, what it's attached to, what size it is, get some pictures. And that way, if your client wants to follow through with a therapeutic surgery, you can send the patient off to a referral center with all the information they need to take it from there as opposed to starting from the beginning. So if they already have the biopsy results, they know exactly what tumor they're dealing with, they can present to the client a complete picture right off the bat, rather than a, well, let's go get the lump out and find out, and then present that complete picture, okay? So that will be really helpful. And if you don't feel comfortable in biopsying this tumor, it's got this look like it'll never stop bleeding if you take a sample or it's just gonna explode on you, take multiple fine needle aspirates. Your job in an XLAP is to come out with as much information and hopefully with a diagnostic sample. I wanna leave you with one last bit of information that's really important with the XLAP. You get in there and right next to the ileocecal junction where that mesenteric lymph node is, it's large, it's big, and it looks like it's so resectable. Don't. Never, ever, ever remove the mesenteric lymph node. So again, it's right by the ileocecal junction. All of the vasculature to the small bowel runs through this lymph node. So if you take out the lymph node, you remove the vasculature to the small bowel, therefore you kill the small bowel and eventually you end up killing the patient. So never remove the mesenteric lymph node. Just take a sample, all right? Thank you and good luck with your X-LAPS.